Hello, hello, everyone. Good morning. Hope you're not having a bad time today. I figured I was going to play Path anyways. I might as well stream it. Oh, good morning, Ron. Didn't expect you to be up. Yeah, so I didn't expect me to be up. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, I have my tea, and I have my donut, and I'm waking up. What's having for breakfast? If you breakfast. I think I did a five hours or four hour stream that I did last night. I'm curious. What what fucking day is it? <laughs> there it is. Oh, I did a four hour stream yesterday, okay. Well, I'm sleepy. I still haven't actually put up the, like, publish the VODs yet, or, uh, past few days, past few streams, <laughs> just, just this week, but, like, uh, I keep meaning to. Been so busy lately. But if you want to check out any of the VODs, visit at Black Cat Streams or hit t uh, uh, exclamation mark YouTube in chat. Or check out my highlights at Black Cat Studio. Yeah, I'm awake enough to to plug my content. That sounds way worse when you when your brain stalls out. Okay, definitely getting this video out before before we do things. What the fuck did we even do on the on Monday for a stream? Oh yeah, we fucked around with a variety of weird builds, I forgot. Oh yeah, we tried to make Flame Golem of Meteor Mines. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Oh man, I can just barely fit it in the title. What the fuck month is it? March. Wait. 
Hold on a second. Necropolis is 3.24. Right? Am I crazy? No, it is. What did I mark my last VOD as Affliction 3.22? That's wrong. <laughs> I have to fix that. Wait, no, now it's Affliction 3.24. That's not right either! <laughs> oh my god, I must be really tired this morning. <laughs> This is my third day in a row it's dreaming, so my throat is actually starting to take a toll from it. I'm feeling it. Mm. I got lots of lube, though. By which I mean liquids to lubricate my throat. Don't, don't be weird. What the fuck else do we do? I'm still not completely convinced that Flame Golem of Meteor Mines are undoable. Like, I think they might be doable still. The main reason why they didn't feel doable was just because I didn't have enough cooldown reduction. And with enough harmonies and mites, I could probably get enough damage and cooldown reduction, that'd be fine. I could use some sort of weird golem answer. I still want to make that build. Oh, no, you don't. Hug? Up there. Pug is causing trouble. What did you win? What trouble are you causing? Fourteen years old, and she still gets into mischief every day. Yeah. Oh, we will actually get to gameplay soon. I do have to put this video up. No, it's Pal World screenshots. Where's my path stuff? What are we listening to? Oh, it's very fittingly titled uh, WTF. Yeah, that's how I feel.
Chat lame. Everyone go subscribe to the Black Hat Streams channel. My streams channel has five subscribers to the Black Hat Studio channel that has 93. Wait. No, it's fifteen minutes in. No, that's not where we're supposed to be. I'm gonna do like thirty seconds in and end up with like thirty minutes in. That's not right. Wow. The, uh... <laughs> the UI in the YouTube studio is, like, actually not responding to me right now. Wow, okay, that's interesting. That's new to me. That's new tube to me. I don't, I don't fucking know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, this VOD we talked about weird retail stories. That was fun. Oh... One of the one of the very interesting things about working for a dispensary is just uh just the people. That was always very interesting about the job. So on the 28th, Thursday, we were like, what the fuck's going on? League starts coming soon? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Lurkshan. Yeah, that stream was literally just making the pyroclasm build. It wasn't even making it. Like, I had already made it and used it and ran it for an entire league. It just it had to be updated because it was ten leagues behind. It was strange trying to figure out what the best way is to name a VOD. Because you want to name it something interesting, but, like, obviously representative of what the act is it actually in the VOD. Though I am pretty proud of making the Pyroclasm build. It was really, really nice. I'm really glad that it just worked out the way that it did. I mean, I didn't expect to be able to make a 5 million DPS build under 100C. Roughly. I'm not infallible, I don't know what all the uh, 
the numbers are for, for things, but roughly it should be under 100Z. Harvest League was so long ago. I miss Harvest. I wish it was still in the game. Well, I mean, technically Harvest still exists. There's the horticulture bench, but like, that's not real Harvest. Uh, okay, I guess there are the gardens and maps too. I don't know, I miss... I miss going into a map and having, like, 30 different crafting options I can use. And in a, a garden, just at random. That was fun. Honestly, the best harvest was, like, one patch into the league. And it was never the same again. I think it actually, like, when it was introduced into the next league, it's still... It was, like, not as good, but it still was pretty good. And it went down from there. I'm pretty confident in the 5 million DPS under 100c. Let's see if I can make that a reality. I'll have to start recording everything I buy for this build, like at least the build pieces. Oh, I love build crafting streams, they're so fun. One of the best types of streams. Wait, no. Wrong channel. Black Cat Stewed. Yo. It's always a weird feel when you're able to type fast enough that <laughs> Black Cat Stew. <laughs> no! No stewing cats! We're an endangered species. And by endangered, I mean in danger of not getting enough treats. We're not gonna, like, die. Now we're apex predators. We're fluffing apex predators. Feel my mower. Wait, I can just type in a number. Why am I trying to, like, move this slow ass? I'm gonna move this, like, slow ass bar over. Trying to place cards into the, uh, into the fucking VOD.
This is the Angels by Misfit from Outdoor Tones. Really like it. Do the rain. Gotta remember to put the build info in the description. I forgot to put the path of building in the description. Uh, initially for the build guide. I'm like, hey, check out this cool build, but also you're not allowed. <laughs> it's like, no! No, I forgot! I mean, there's only like three views before that point, but I was like, no! Hmm. Oh, this is fully degenerate and totally not useful. Thank you, YouTube recommendations. Bad. I don't want to get copyright claimed, and I don't actually know if that type of stuff gets copyright claimed, so... But it is funny. It's raining tacos. It's raining tacos. It's raining tacos, tacos. It's raining tacos. Yay, the streams are up except for yesterday. Which I'm not going to put up now. That would use a lot of my bandwidth. I don't want to use a lot of my bandwidth. Saying that like Jesus. <laughs> Music again. I remember to write down, like, actually post when the gameplay starts for the stream. Okay, where the fuck are we? 
Uh, we were in Act 3. And also we're surrounded by frogs. For frog-related rel reasons. Okay. Yeah, Forg. Okay, so we need the crematorium, the imperial gardens, and the catacombs. And then we can hit the lab. Hit lab one. You know, I might actually recommend that people start Explosive Trap for the Pyroclast builds, because, like, it's really nice. You know, stop trying to eat corpses, you were not allowed. Also need to remember that I don't really need the XP, so I don't really need to be stopping to kill things so much. But when I see juicy packs like this, I'm like, but I can. Come on. I want to blow things up. Oh, fuck. Wrong way. Daddy, I want to blow things up. I don't need to be awake to be a degenerate. Just you watch. I can do that with my brain closed. Apparently it's Easter weekend, which I guess is as closed as brain can be. Wait, no, that didn't make sense to anyone but myself. Let's try it again. Brain is closed. Think of closed stores. Think of Easter weekend when things are closed. It is Easter weekend. That's what happened to my brain. You are now caught up. Catacombs! Wow. Or, not catacombs. Crematorium. I swear this is, like, the first first time I've actually managed... ...to get to the crematorium without seeing the sewers at all. Okay, I really don't need to spend too much time on these. Especially not with the necromancers running around anyways, that'll just revive anything I kill, for the most part. Now oh, there's the trial. That's easy. Oh, that's a nice juicy blue pack, though. Zoom. 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 Or as the bourgeois say, Vroom. I really wish I got more sleep. <laughs> I only got four hours. 
Uh, my room is like, hey, it's 7 a.m., you're awake. And I'm like, but I went to sleep at 3 a.m. And like, no, nope, no, you're awake. <laughs> like, fuck. One of the issues with streaming late is definitely that I end up wired because I'm always excited when I'm streaming. Just because naturally I like people and I like being social. And I tend to hype myself up as well. Naturally. Just because I'm enjoying myself, so... It really kind of... Yeah. It might sound like I'm just saying that because I'm a streamer and I should be saying that, but like... I don't know. I, I like people. There's a reason why I stream so much. I stream as much as my time and energy allows, really. And I guess which one of these is M ability without looking at it. Or without clicking it. I know the one below my cursor right now is despair. I don't remember what this one is. One of these is conductivity. I think this one is chill. The so frostbite, and this one's elemental weakness. That's one of these two. Oh, actually, going by the basis of how Path of Exile works, it's fire, cold, lightning. So this is flammability. Damn it! The flammability was the first one. Wait, what? Start with frostbite. Oh, wow. I got shuffled. That's enfeeble. That's what that is. I was so close. I'm a burling. Okay, I think we're at the point where Detonate Dead is not helping me as much anymore. Uh, what do I want to swap out for this? This is more important than Fireball. As much as I do like Fireball. Hmm. There's nothing that stops me from using a two-hander. I could, uh, I could use a two-hander right now. Except for I'm mostly green, not blue, so that's kind of useless. Yeah. Oh well. Actually, I should leave the death dancing at home. I don't really need death protection, because for the most part, I can just respawn at the moment without any penalty. Well, not for the most part. I can respawn without any penalty. It's full stop. Also, I should probably be swapping to a mine soon, saying as I'm going into my second set of mine nodes, and I already have my first set. I could do explosive trap mines. <laughs> <laughs> Just to start with. Uh, we found out yesterday that that works for some reason. Some bizarre, ungodly reason. I need to walk over to the slums. 
because the the waypoint is in a butt's place, and by that I mean there's no waypoint. <laughs> Uh, do I want to redo this area? Well, I know where it's not. It's probably over here. Oh, that's a lot of... That's a lot of pals. A lot of friends. A lot of friends. Okay, if it was over there, I would have seen it when I walked past. I'm gonna say... Western corner. Come on. Darn it. Where are you? Stupid sewer grate. Oh, I walked past it and I just didn't notice. Oops. No. No, go away. I'm busy. Hmm. This would be the least effective for maiming things. This, I have to just try not to let them hit me, and I'll give the undying that. I like to give the dangerous mods to the things that don't move very fast. Or to things that are just completely incompatible with the mods. Like adding maim to the uh, mods that, uh, or to the monsters that are mainly casters, for example. Is the most efficient way to use the. Uh, the thing that I have, the space that I have, the time that I have, the, the... I don't know what's going on. Wait, I still, why do I still have Vol Absolution built? You're not benefiting me in any way. But I guess I might as well level it. It is 10% quality, which I did not notice initially. Eh, sure, why not? So, I should have flammability in a different spot. I want to be able to actually use flammability. There we go. Not that I really need a whole ton of extra DPS at this point, because I am still pretty fucking strong, but... I don't think I have Snow Forged yet. No, I don't have Snow Forged yet, so I don't even ha have, like, the extra benefit of igniting things. Or from igniting things. Ah, it is over here, okay. Wasn't sure where the third bust was. It can be weird places sometimes. Usually, there's they're always near the eastern side of the map. Or, not always, but, like... There's always one over here, I feel like. Oh, no. Nice. I've gotten more chaos than Alk so far. That's weird. I mean, RNG. Marketplace. Give XP to the thing that is most common. Or increased XP. Aw, oh, I'm out of tea. That's the worst part of the day, is when you run out of your tea. Voter to Aberath. That must be the increased XP ones. Yeah, that gave me a fair bit of XP, actually. 
It's 200%. So does that mean increased by 200%? If my understanding of increased... If it's the same as, like, increased usually is in the game... Wow, this is a really, really pointless set of stairs! What? Why is this here? Would you like stairs down to this bush? I don't... I mean, it actually looks kind of cool, but oh boy, is this not useful. I do not have stairs leading down to a bush. <laughs> you could get... <laughs> right below your tummy, you could get a... Uh, a tattoo of stairs, and you have stairs right above a bush. Or leading down to a bush. <laughs> <laughs> uh I love my own sense of humor. Best way to live, really. Okay, so I need the catacombs stuff. Oh, the Cantor Spiritus don't need. Not doing that quest. Never do that quest. Don't need a rare amulet. Badly enough to do that. Hmm. Good XP. All of the undead. Kill all of the undead for extra XP. Not that I need it, because this is a level 26 area, and I'm level 28. But, I mean... I mean, that's not that big a uh, jump. Okay, how much more do I actually want to get before I... I'm like, yeah, I have enough XP. There's a bit more space back here, that's easy to get. Okay. I'm not going to go to the catacombs, because I'm going to go to the docks and get the waypoint since I already know where the exit is. Oh. Battlefront? Oh yeah, of course it's the battlefront, okay. No, I do not want the black guards to have extra life. The the flimsy assault ribbons can have extra life. They do not need extra life. 
I'm above them in level, and they do not need extra life. I should be two levels above them, actually. No, I'm getting stuck. Ribbon spool. That is a chromatic item. And that's my whole try and effect. Wexin. Turn in these busts. Okay, turn in. From check. Nope. Nope. Okay, and I can add or effect of mines. You know what? No, I should try the detonate mines while moving. The only reason why it's not in the build is purely because we have an extra gem socket, which I would prefer to use rather than use a skill point. I'll just leave the... I'll just leave the skeletons alone. I don't want to buff the archivists. Because they actually are dangerous. Since they run fast and you shock Nova. That's, that's too much. Oh, wow. Dead on. Found the trial fast. Nope. 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 My toesies. My beans are getting sawed off. Leave my beans alone. They're not tasty. Cool. So we just need the real garden now. What the heck was that sound effect? Weird. Okay. Beat the system a little bit and see if I can. Nope. See if anyone has any extra waypoints that I can borrow. And by borrow, I mean extra things I can teleport to. Oh, I don't. Do I don't have access to the temples yet? Let's see, have one of you found the docks entrance? Or not the entrance, the waypoint.
I should actually just go through the way the no waypoint the uh oh that's the marketplace I do not want to go there I have no shame I am fine bumping waypoints off people. Oh well. Fine, I'll do the work myself. Okay, new instance. Who do I want to give what to? The brittle skeletons. And dying are kind of fast. I'll give some physical damage to the dock hands. It's interesting because you actually get to learn the names of like the different types of monsters. I don't know about you, but I don't really pay attention to, like, oh, these are Dockhand Wraiths. And, well, okay, I do know the Shipyard Terror. Because he's so unique, but, like... I don't really pay attention to what these things are called. It is kind of cool that it's, like, front and center. Strong box. Box so strong. My box brings all the boys to the strong. Yeah, I am more nonsensical than usual. I I guess it's just because I'm tired. Song sad. No thanks. I don't need a downer of a song. I don't really feel catharsis from random, from like sad songs and movies like some people do. Oh, thank you, friend. Oh, they went AFK beside the waypoint for people who want it. Wow, that's really nice of them. What do I need the most? Really need a huge amount of strength. I'll I'll go for int. Yeah, that's a good amulet. Time to replace this. Yeah, it's time. Man, that helped a lot being able to just teleport straight here. Appreciate that person's help. If they weren't AFK, I would try to give them something, but... 
They do have an elk now. I have two elks, nice. Ooh. That's about a shield, isn't it? Fifty six, thirty five, twelve, ten. Yep, that's better. What's this? Precision. Okay. Also, I don't need the precision gem. Because I want level one precision anyways, so that's kind of pointless to me. Hmm. Oh no, I need clarity. I'm really running out of green saw or green sockets. Red saw. Nope. Third time's a charm. I'm running out of blue sockets. What's a green socket again? <laughs> oh no. That's plus two to all physical spell gems. That's not bad. I'll put that up for right now. Why not? What the amulet up to? Why not? Room check. Yeah. Wait, I can probably get Grace, can't I? Yeah, I can Grace now. Nice. I was not paying attention to that. I get automation! Ah! 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 Automation! <laughs> The thing I've been excited about for so long! Yeah. I'm just being silly. I'm just so excited to have it. Actually, wait. I could use haste instead of grace to start with. I don't have to run grace immediately. Clarity, summons bitter bots, haste. Brace there. You know, I could replace my skitter bots with haste for now, just so I can run faster. I don't really need the damage from the skitter bots yet, and I can always swap back to them if I need it. Okay, so. I don't need. Uh, I don't need the absolution gem. I can put it there. I don't. I I do not have enough blue sockets. Is the problem right now? Can I just get like a four socket blue item somewhere? That's three, but I don't really want to get rid of my chest plate. My chest plate better than that. This is only mediocre at best. I could pick the tribal circlet instead and have more sockets. I'm gonna do that. Remember to lube your throat. AKA drink water. Where is my clarity gem? What did I just do with it? Oh, there's my clarity gem. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, I don't have dex now. No. Oh, this is three suffixes. Damn it. 
This is an open suffix slot, though. I can just put text on it. That's fine. You aren't going to fluff me up this time. Ready. I'm ready for the fluffing. Okay, so I'm gonna put all those away. I still do not have an extra. Wow, I still do not have an extra blue socket. Okay, I'm excited. Let's try out automation for the first time. Uh, can anybody get detonate mines early on? Okay, like, I need steel skin. I don't think I can get detonate mines early. I think you did detonate mines. The earliest detonate mines you could probably get would be Siosa in the library in Act 3. That's fine. I'll just go with this for now. Oh yeah, okay, I'm just waiting on the Imperial Gardens, right? Oh, but we get there, so... Gosh darn it, I always hit the zone transition, because I'm used to doing that automatically. Okay. Lantern uh Lantern? Lantern Armor. I don't want to give sup suppress spell damage to any of these. I'm gonna hope that the experiments aren't that bad. I don't wanna buff the black guard specifically. Even though I don't think the experiments are good to buff, but I don't want to buff the Blackguard specifically, because they're going to surround, uh, um, Gravitius. And I'm going to have to deal with a whole bunch of them at once. Oh yeah, they're not really a problem. It takes more than one throw to take them out. Yeah, it takes like two mines, that's fine. That's really not a big deal. Well, 18 flask to a level 30 flask. Almost double the effectiveness. Pretty nice. Wow. Definitely higher mob density than before. It's so cool that not only can you see their names, you can also see how dense they are and what their abilities are with the Lynch and the Moor. It honestly is really, really cool. Because, like, they don't even need to do anything new for that. Like, they're just showing off what is already there, which is awesome. I mean, like, some of the assets are new, for sure, but, like, only so many. Okay. 
I'm gonna tank this until he firestorms. His flame axes are dangerous, but if that's only if you go to mid range. Just back off when he firestorms and get close, get really close to him so that he doesn't use his flame axes and then he's just melee attacking, which is his weakest ability. Oh, wow, I didn't realize he could use those at close range. He doesn't seem to use it very much, though, so I think it's still a viable tactic. Night Mana Flask, that's level 18. Oh, that's level 24. Okay, no, I do actually need that. One more, and I can have... I can upgrade one of my flasks and keep the other. Still want to have enough. I need two sets of flasks. Not two sets, I need two flasks. Not just one. Pixel Graveyard by VLTGE. Interesting. Mix of, like, electronica and rap. Step, step. Lots of things. And I went in. Darn it. I need to remember. Hmm. I think these are things with the whips, and I don't want those to have any buffs. Anyone through the... Yep, they're through. Cool. I can get the waypoint off them and... I will make my own instance. Tentacled miscreations, that's what the boob monsters are called. Hmm. Yeah, those do not need extra damage. Thank you very much. Level 30 area, and I hit 30. Okay, so now on par. I need to make sure that I, I still am killing things now. Not a huge amount, but enough.
Okay, still going up. Darn it, I went the wrong way. Right, carriage, carriage is focused. The carriage thingies point towards the right direction you're supposed to go. I always forget to look for that. I was like, what is the thing here? And then I was like, oh, right, this is the wrong way, that's why. Stop that. Stop that. Okay, I'm not really good at navigating this area in specific. But... I'm not there. Try to like conserve a flame dash just because I don't really know where I am. Oh wait. Can I No, I can't jump that, it's too far. That's the right way, at least. Of. This is why we need flame dash just conserved. Yeah. Stop body blocking me. I miss phasing. Not that it's gone anywhere, I just don't have it. <laughs> Um, uh. Whoa! Wait, uh, caps lock. Caps lock? Grave key, that's what it is for the portal button. Do I want a four link blue? That'd be useful. Oh, an enduring, nice. Actually, I should tell that. Hmm. No, I should just go back to town rather than try to fit even more in my inventory. No reason to just stare at it forever. Besides, I can chrome check. Um. Oh, Pyroclast Mines. Finally time. That was as a reward for what? I didn't pay attention to what that was a reward for. I think that's for Gravitius. Okay. Damage the Mace Receptors and Fire Damage over time. That's actually not bad together. Oh. Hold on. None of these exist on the market. Okay, it's going to be kind of hard to price it then. 
Oh, that's not that's that's da like physical damage. Not physical damage, but like that's like melee damage. Okay, well, an elk. That later. I'll start putting things in here. Get that way. Did I chrome check? I don't think I chrome checked. Technically, it's not just chrome checking. Like, you can also... I don't know if you can get it yet, but you can eventually also get six links and six sockets, theoretically. It's, like, a really low chance, but it's possible. You can also get unique items in vendors. It's I've never seen it before, but theoretically it's a thing. What do we unlock anyways? I was too distracted by Pyroclast. Wait, where was Animate Guardian? I wish Animate Guardian didn't have a cast time. Then you could, like, auto-cast it with automation. Actually, I haven't even been paying attention to my automation. Also, I should make sure that the that the portal stays open, or I'm going to be very sad. Wait, no, I don't need white stuff. Well, then, oh, it's lightning damage. Ah. I I am using four blues, one green, one red for my pyroclast ultimately, so having that pure blue chest plate back in the stash is actually kinda good that when I swap to pyroclast I can actually just do it there. So initially, I don't really have a reason. Like, because currently, explosive mines are strong enough that I don't really need anything else. I didn't really need to place a portal. Oh well. Oh well. Oh. Out of space. It's not bad for a shield. One has more movement speed, though, and I care about that the most right now. I can go in the alt category. Also... No, oh, not very good. Out of curiosity, what level is this one I've been using? It's level 12, and I'm level 31. Hmm. I don't know if plus one to all fire skill gems is enough to justify using that still. I think it justifies at least waiting. Find something decent, but... So 
makes me curious. How much are my build items going for? Because the first build item is Dodre's Tenure, and I can get that as early as... Well, level 12. One C. What? Oh, I was seeing Dodra's tenures that are like this one's fence. They're 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 they give a hundred percent increased spell damage, but some of the ones I was looking at, like this one gives fifty seven, and this one gives fifty two, and I'm like, why are these numbers different? It fix at a hundred. And I notice it's like I'm not actually accidentally looking at standard. That's the problem. So I'm use I'm seeing like legacy items that are worse than than like current ones. Okay, so it costs me one C to get one. What about Im with items with implicits? Oh. Can I seriously get the Frenzy Charge Dodra's Tenure that I need for 1C? Really? Is that is that what I actually need? Am I confused? No, it's not. That's I'm not confused. That's what I need. Okay. It is good, even. No, oh. are they actually going to sell it? Are these price fixers, or am I confused? I feel like that'd be worth a little more than that, but... I mean, if they want to sell it for that, they can sell it for that. I want their mother. Ooh, we have a new version of Path of Building. Yay! I put automation in now? Yay, automation exists! Yay! What is my evasion? Uh... I mean, one percent of this is like five point. That would be me recovering like fifteen energy shield for ghost dance. That's not worth it. Until I get like a notable amount. But I went past the mine section. Oh, confusing. I could skip mines and go straight for mana reservation efficiency. I don't know if 12 is enough to give me anything, though. Mm. Well, okay. I am going to do a quick trade site thing. Just so that I have a notification if one of my build items pops up.
Uh, increase maximum life implicit or max frenzy charge implicit. At least two. Cool. I'll see what pops up from that. And also, how much are are Cerberus limbs for sale yet? Is that a thing? That is. Oh, they are already for sale. They're five C. Hmm. What about heartbreakers? Ah! Heartbreakers are much cheaper. You can get you can get there's six of them listed under one C. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for that then. There's no point buying a Heartbreaker yet because it's level 50 and I'm level 31. Still a little bit off of that now, aren't I? Anyone in the Pyro Gardens yet? I would love to be in the Pyro Gardens. Wait, what's that? Someone from the library. Yes, that's what I need to go to. And I get... Oh, I can't check what he sells yet. Because... I haven't done this quest. Wait, you can turn automation on and off? Being attacked, and I'm not even paying attention. Okay, I don't actually know the way to leave. Let's make myself let's make this a little bit easier on myself. Let's try a different generation of this map. There's the rare. I was wondering where that one went. Oh, back marches can drop almonds. Nice. I'll have to hold on to that. Imperial Gardens. Who should I give extra stuff to? Okay, those are the dudes that eat corpses. They're not that dangerous, I find. Yeah, devourers can keep extra damage. Give no. I'm gonna swap that. Okay. Probably the safest. So immediately from the library, let's go up. I believe.
that I will find a trial up here. Is the pack leader thing new? Like, has there always been pack leaders to packs? Just, like, quietly? Or, like, as part of the game? Like, just like an unexplained mechanic? I'm wondering. Okay, that is the last trial. Or the first lab. Don't need this is Plum. Do I have the key? I have the key. I can unlock the scepter. Okay, so the scepter, if I'm guessing right, should be up here. So like the far east. Okay, yeah. Getting a dead is dropping off in power. <laughs> Unfortunately. It was like a really easy way early game to get extra power to just use Detonate Dead. Which is why I like to use it. I like cheat power. Nope, that's just a plum. Wrong way. Titus is plum. Titus is plum. Titus is plum. I don't actually know how to pronounce his name. There we go. Do you have good? Uh, what here doesn't have projectiles? These don't have projectiles. Uh, all damage can shock. Well, they're mainly lightning, so that makes sense. Dying event. Oh, that's the proximity shield one. Give these guys the attack and cast speed. Is that safer? Anyone just happen to be in the upper scepter? Happens to be there. They're in the scepter, but they're not in the upper scepter. They're in the upper scepter. I'll give the spiders movement speed, saying as they already can teleport. Okay, give accuracy to the casters, and maim to the other casters. Okay. I love the fact that mine builds can just kind of ignore proximity shield. Because the mines originate in the proximity shield. Eh. I got frozen. Don't froze my toe beans. Okay, that's the stairs. I want I want the portal. Or the waypoint. I feel like it's an annoying waypoint to get usually, so it's if I'm here I wanna get it. Like if you need to re-get it, it sucks. 
Why am I not seeing it? Must be this way. Maybe it's on the level right before? Is it on the level before the uh, upper scepter? Must be. I imagine you can faintly hear my big boy in the background. Someone's going to work, and that is unforgivable in his book. There's the waypoint. Okay. Now I can progress without worry. Next floor. Finally. We're at Dominus. Now we can Dominus him. Should make sure I have a portal down at least. Just in case. I mean, if I die, I'll respawn. In a safe spot, but I don't know. I don't really want to walk through several levels again. If I if something happens. There's a lot of uniques in this fight. Can't leave the crazed. Is there like one unique for each of these capsules? That would mean there'd be seven uniques. I think. If basic math doesn't fail me. Hello, Dumbness. Yeah, Detonate Dead just does not, does not keep up unless I give it some sort of something. Because currently it has no support gems, so that's just not the way to do it. And I'm not going to invest in it because I'm already investing in my explosive trap. Now, if I'm going to invest in a new skill, it will be in Pyroclast Mines. You know, like the actual thing I'm doing for the build. Okay. 
Okay. I'm gonna do the stomp stomp. Stomp stomp. Okay. Reminds. I successfully curse him? Yes, I did. I think he's big enough that I'm actually going to be hitting him with multiple of the mines each throw. One second, let me go see what my good boy is upset about. Go soothe the beast. Okay, and I'm back. It's so cute. I close my door when I'm not... when I'm streaming, because don't want to have there be noise. And when I open the door, if he's been barking, he'll, like, rush over to me, like, I, I defended the house. Mommy, I defended the house. What do I do now? I'm like, it's okay, baby. It's okay, baby. Everything okay. Like, yeah, everything okay. He's so cute. Like, baby do good? Baby do good. Yes, baby good. Ba baby do good. Now baby calm. Baby remain calm. <laughs> Hmm. Shock, kill, lighting damage. 
I gotta make a new instance. Oh, that didn't change what I got. Okay, new instance. Oh, yep, that changed the the uh, benefits. Now the monsters are much scarier. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. I can use that to my advantage. Very effectively use that to my advantage. Thirty-two, I need to be thirty-six before I get the other thing. Okay, I'll put you away. I'll need you later. Wish I had an extra slot. Don't. Okay, I'll stop by the Sarn Cam and anything else that they need to give me. No, I don't think so. Okay. From check for the level? I think I did. No four links. I really would like to switch over to Pyroclast, but one of the things that I find makes it really nice, Pyroclast specifically, is having minefield support. And I do not have that yet. I'm going to be wanting minefield support, charged mines, and increased critical strikes. I'm not going to get charged mines to act for stuff. Or minefield, I don't think. I do have increased critical strike chance. I do have trap and mine damage. I upgrade this. I have an essence, but. I'm going to gamble. Actually, I guess it doesn't matter if be adding quality, but... Oh! 37! Okay. That's 14% fourteen spell, da 14 spell damage up to 57% spell damage. It'll be hard to tell whether that's which is better based on that, because the extra gem levels matter. There it is. 76 to 114. Seventy six to sixty one, hundred and fourteen to ninety one. That's a pretty big difference. This might be worth it still. Let's just see how that goes. See if I feel like my power has dropped off or not. Okay, do I stop into the lab right now, or do I move forward? I think I should get to act to the uh, to high gate. So I want to get a beneficial lantern. Under max life, two projectiles. Is this getting just refreshed infinitely? Yeah, they have something against... Uh, they have something to protect the... Uh, protect from just, like, refreshing the instance forever. Okay. I'll have to deal with that then.
know, I think I like the automation. I think I like that. I think it's it's good. I mean, okay, I like automation because it makes it just one less skill you have to have on your bar. And people are already going to automate it one way or another. Might as well just make it simple. Okay, these mobs are a bit harder than otherwise was originally intended, but because of refreshing instance, repeatedly. Wait, no, that's wrong. That's supposed to be there. I think these things have like 100% extra health or something. Nope, they just have additional projectiles. Wait, do they? They don't look like they have additional projectiles. Hold on one second, I want to see what the difference is, damage-wise. Queen the furry. Okay, yeah, it's it's more damage to use the spell damage one over the uh plus all fire skills. Collect elemental damage, that's fine. I am a trap build currently. Unfortunate that their that the Lantern of Aramor doesn't work on uh, ball side areas. Wonder why they made that decision. Wait, wait, no, no! I know what the song is. It's gonna scream. Nope, got it in time. I should not have powered up my clarity gem. Oops. Over for Brett, nice. Vault Limp the Patient. Uh. Back. Whoa! Too much damage. I'll swap over to Grace. I'm only using haste to just move faster, so... Mine trap bells don't seem to really... don't really seem to like cast speed anymore. I thought they did. So I might have just always been confused about that. Oh, 
Okay, I do see a reason why not to give Lantern of Aramor buffs to these monsters, I guess. <laughs> they are a bit rough. Oh, I did get a Spring Leaf, which is nice. Those are good in general. Full spark, nice. I can use that for something, I'm sure. That probably would be a nice bow if I used bows. It is, however, identified. That's not. It's slightly better. It's for sale, I think. I tried my spell suppression already. That'd be nice. At least I have a bismuth flask, but... God, this is energy shield aura, extra life, and... something else, I think. I don't know what else it has. It has peasant haunted, which I think is extra life as well. Or no, no, that's the... Uh... Is that the extra projectiles? You know, I don't remember these things doing this attack, actually. Like, these things were here before, I'm pretty sure, but I don't remember that attack. Did that get changed? I feel like that got changed. It's nice that they have, like, their cold damage, but they're... Or I assume they're cold damage. Uh, but, yeah, they're cold damage. But they're not freezing me. Maybe that's because of my HP, but, like... I don't know, it's nice to not have that as a constant concern with cold damage enemies, like you do with some of them. I have to say, Vault Fireball doesn't feel like a good skill. Like, it's nice to have when leveling, just as, like, an extra little damage boost, because why not? But, like, I can't imagine actually using it in the end game. Doesn't seem really suited for that. Hmm, it's still a little bit better, I think. This last charge is gained. Eh. Come back and pick all the stuff up. Okay. I don't know why that required so much thought. That required a lot of thought for some reason. Like, which one? Ooh. Ding. Uh, Max Life, Dodra's Tenure popped up, that's what it was. And a Reservation Efficiency.
Hmm. Okay, well, I have a Sacred Man Flask when I need it. A little bit from now. Have an extra life flask. Want a spring leaf for later. Love to put the spark somewhere, but I don't really have space. Will spark be better? Will spark be better than Vol Fireball? Yeah, I'll swap them. I'll need to level up at first before it'll actually be better, but... But it is a fine start. Yes. Oh, there's the level up. Level up. There's the second level up. Yeah, it is Spark, I guess. It is, like, one of the first gems you get, so it'll level up quickly. At least at early levels, nothing else. Curses, evasive. Cool, I can have all of them equipped, I just can't also cast things. But I can turn off clarity for now. Let's try that. I don't know if I'll have enough mana to do things, but we'll see. Okay, last possible life flask I need. Uh... Uh, yeah, I can kill thousands of chests. It's big enough to hit at least two of my mines, if not three of them per throw, so I'm dealing damage way faster. I am just like random shit. I feel like even Vol Spark, which doesn't feel like it does a huge amount of damage, is still better than Vol Fireball. Oh, they're just random swords. Not swords, shields. Oh, I for some reason. Not sure why. 34, we're in level 33. Okay. Of curiosity, if I do a new area, I do get new lantern things. How many times gonna generate a new area before it stops getting new lantern things? Once, okay. So maybe you can have two active instances of different lantern effects, and then that's it. Chrome check. I don't really need to talk to Diallo. I mean, technically, I don't really need to talk to any of these people right now. I 
Okay, let's actually go do our ascension. First nap, first nap of the blue lab? No. First. First lab of the new league. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh gosh. First nap of the new lab. Sure, let's go with that. Check. Yeah. Let's just open the Aspirant's Plaza. Okay, watch well, it thirty four. Oh. Well, the one above the lap right now. Shouldn't be too hard. What's that? Oh, it's the, uh, it's a puzzle. That's what it is. I'm kind of curious. How do you enter the puzzle? I thought you just walked into the puzzle. There must be a switch around here. Why does there need to be a switch to open the door to the puzzle to do the puzzle to open the door to chest? Feels excessive. Can't I just do the puzzle itself? Oh, I have to actually stand on the thing. Okay. Uh, okay, one second. Cold... Uh, cold lightning fire. Cold lightning fire? I don't understand how this works. I don't understand how this works. Ow. Cold? No. Cold. Okay. Maybe it's fire cold lightning. Fire? Oh. Fire. Cold lightning fire, so be fire lightning cold. Fire lightning cold. Fire lightning cold. Fire lightning cold fire. There we go. Oh, this isn't even a trove. This is just a key. Oh, treasure key. Okay, I thought that was a silver key. And I was going to be like, oh, but now I have to go find the vault thing, too. No, I don't. I'm fine.
I'm definitely feeling the lack of mana regen. Uh. You know what? I'm going to pick mana regen or damage. That's probably going to work a bit better. Wait, what am I doing? I should empty my inventory. So I can pick up more shit. Eh, not very good. Okay, now I have lots of space. Actually, I probably should have brought the omen with me for this. I mean, I don't think I'm going to have trouble. Yeah. No alarm time, please. Conduit. So this is the power him up and then kill him thing, I think. Based on that. Wait, no, you click them to deactivate them. Oh, so maybe you wait for all of his things to be active and then you fight him. Yeah, so he's fully buffed now. And that will give me an extra treasure key? I think. Yeah. I think that'll give you an extra treasure key. So I might, if it does, I might have lost it by clicking the, the deactivate thing, because I wasn't sure of what to do. Minions fire explode on death. Hmm. I know. Where is the last minion? Oh, there's a necromancer right here. That's why. Long time to wait for a one elk item. Okay. Well, let's push through this lap then. Is this... Oh, this is a, a gauntlet area, that's why. The gauntlet areas usually have a, a their gauntlet right here-ish. It's always like this hook around. Like, do whoop. Okay, you need to get out of my way. Oh, I don't know what those other things were for, but this got me through. Okay, that is second second trial. 
Just need to not forget to message that person. I'm so bad at that. Uh, mirrors. I think it means kill quickly. I'm not taking a lot of damage from my admit. Probably because I'm using Grace. He's a melee build. Whoa! Okay. Why do I feel like my attacks aren't working? I think I'm getting regularly stunned out of my attacks. I think that's what's going on. I think because there's just so many minions in here. Yeah, no, fuck that. I'm done. Leave me alone. A lava path there. That makes me feel like that's probably was the right way. Oh, there is a dark shrine there. I'm not saying no to a dark shrine. Switch. There we go. Oh, permanent diamond shrine. That's actually really nice. Not incredibly useful, because I think I'll be fine without it, but... I mean, it just, it just guarantees me finishing the lab a little bit more. Nothing guarantees anything in life, but, like, to some extent. Oh, not there. Right away. Yeah, okay. Emperor's vault? Emperor's vault. That silver door. Okay. I want to have a silver key. Uh okay, that was just a pointless loop. Is this blocked off? No. Not completely at least. It tells me this is a dead end. There we are. Okay. What is the right way? 
Hmm. Movement seed boats. Way better than my current boats. Okay, let's swap. These are not good boots, but neither are these, so... I'll keep that aside. Get in there. Probably... Should have brought my omen with me just in case, but oh well. But I feel like he just destroyed most of my traps. I should look into getting my Marlene's Fallacy. I think that's only level 32. I need to keep moving with all these minions around. There we go. Guardian of the Goddess. Two, two treasure keys. I think that's because of what I did. Defeating the things in a particular order. I have up to four treasure keys. That's pretty good. Ooh. Bonus. Nice. Lots of stuff. Ooh. That actually might be an ideal pick for a chest blade for me. I would prefer to have evasion, but... Power class to mines, minefield, charge to mine support, and then trap and mine damage. Okay, yeah. I would actually prefer that. So much shit now. All this shit I want to sell. That's a gold run, nice. That's very convenient. Put a bunch of shit in this tab, I guess. Convenient. Yeah, I'm gonna switch the gold rim as soon as I can. Don't need the blue sockets, though. Ended. Uh, okay, picked up my stuff. I'm a skill gem to a random transfigured gem of the same color. Um, I will take a blue gem. It's a strain of wickedness. We could. Yeah. 
Summon Reaper of Revenants. Wickedness. Ice Spear Splitting. I feel like the... Um, the I, Summon's Reaper of Revenants is cool, but... I think the Ice Spear Splitting is probably going to be more valuable. Okay, and I ascended. And now I can sell the thingy. What am I selling them? Ah, oh, yes. Shield. Oh, times are so slow. So bad this league. I would have thought things would have been optimized. Would appear not. Okay, I'm going to need uh, my higher level flasks. Transmutes on them. Oh, I got enduring. Rose Curses, that's not bad. Don't need that. Hmm. When I move stuff to my chest plate, I'm going to need uh, a red socket and a blue socket elsewhere, of which I do not have. I have a blue socket, but not a red one. I basically need, like, quad blue gloves if I can manage it. That'd be really nice. Hmm. An alt for chrome. This one in the league? Not worth it. Well, I'm going to be able to replace these gloves with something soon. So I won't need the, uh, the four sockets there anymore. So hopefully I'll be able to get something blue. And I mean, I guess I could just use this. One, one thing. Okay, that was technically I could use that. I mean, it's better than what I'm wearing.
I mean, once I'm ready to swap, once I'm ready to swap over. Oh my god! <laughs> once I'm ready to switch over. Uh. But I could really use a. I could really use a blue red though. The blue one on its own is not enough for me. Maybe I should just look for a one blue, one red ish thing. Maybe that's the right choice. I could actually buy these and use them until I'm ready to get rid of them. It's like, use them as long as I need them, and then I sell it as a chrome. That would have the, a dual purpose then. You know what? Sure, why not? Oh, cool. Max life. That rolled well. Okay, so that will not work. I'll go through that shit later. That's what we're going to do. All of this goes in here, and I can sort it later. I don't like sorting stuff on stream. It's like I'm wasting all your time. Then again, I imagine the big Path of Exile streamers do that, so that they're not spending forever in their own time doing it. You know what, I'll just get rid of the obvious things and I'll deal with the more complicated stuff later. I think that's a reasonable compromise. This, I know I can just crash this. I know I don't want any of that crap. There we go. I'm to swap over yet. Hmm. What am I going to do? I'm going to go to the wrong place. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the library, and I'm going to do Seos's quest. And I want to see if I can get Minefield and or Charged Mine from him. I know I can get Minefield in uh, Act 4, near the end, but I don't know what Charged Mines. I feel like I should have gotten Charged Mines already, but I don't know where I would go to get it. Me some blast charges. Oh. Yo. Come on. 
Where's the stupid way down? Not a strong box. That's nice, I guess. Two strong boxes. Oh no. Oh no. The freeze firestorm combo is is painful. Ah Source Maximus. Cool. I feel like I've seen him before, but I don't really remember him too much. One of these places, there is a, a frickin' bookshelf. I need to find the bookshelf. Handle. Go downstairs. Wait, what am I doing? The bookshelf has to be on the... It has to be on the northeastern or northwestern side of the room. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to see it based on the perspective that Path of Exile is. So going to the bottom and bottom right is not useful to me. I'm actually wasting my time. And I'm wasting all of your time. I'm so sorry. Hmm. What area I'm going to have my bookshelf? Not this one. Man. This library feels bigger than before. Oh, I've always had issues trying to find the bookshelf. Just remember, the candle is always at the top middle of the bookshelf. You just need to tap it. The light touch is, pre is preferable. Ooh, that's a uh, special corpse. Special monster that I made into a corpse. <laughs> Please. Thank you. No! No, I thought that was the right way. No. Oh, and it's not there. It has to be. Okay. It has to be on a northwestern wall, I think. That is my new theory. It's going to be the last place I check, not because of, like, anything that can go wrong should go wrong, or whatever that stupid uh, concept is. Just statistically, I have gone through so much stuff that it is going to be one of the last things I've looked through, because I've already looked through most stuff. <laughs> Couldn't possibly be down here though. Because this is on the wrong angle. How did, how have I missed it? Maybe I need to go along the top again and see if I can find it there. Maybe I just walked right past it and I'm confused. Hmm. 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 No. Okay. Where? Where are you? I would have thought it would be over here in this one, but it's not here. 
I mean, it, okay, no, more likely it's after the waypoint in the zone, but I still haven't found it. I have to have walked past it. That's the only explanation I can think of is that I walked past it. Can I be against one of these walls? I don't think so. Purity Chronicles. That sounds like a real interesting book. Being sarcastic. Sounds boring. And preachy. Where could I possibly go? What is left? Like, seriously, where the fuck else is there in this place? Oh no, it's down here, isn't it? Oh no, how do I get down there? That's the only northwestern wall that I can see. Oh, wrong way. Unless it could... No, it, it can't... It can't be one of those walls. It has to be... It has to be a northwestern wall, I'm pretty sure. Or northeastern. How is this so hard to find? Wait, let's check this room. I've already been in here, but that doesn't mean that it's not in there. I'm so displeased. Uh... At least I found it. It only took... Like, four years. Is there anything left in this place? No, this is literally the last place it could possibly have been, is right here. And I just so happen, just so happen to be here. <sighs> okay. Oh, darn it. I don't usually get frustrated with these things, but this has frustrated me. <laughs> also, I should probably pick my sentencey stuff. This is not going to help until I actually swap over to mines, but... Sure, why not? Actually, wait. Can I... Fresh it? No. There's definitely some things to, like, protect you from... Or protect the system from being abused. By just refreshing it infinitely. Till you get the ideal... Attributes. That's not actually fun gameplay to just be able to, to just refresh it infinitely until you get the right stuff. Oh, it's spell and fire resistant. That's why this sucks. You know what? No. You're not worth my time. <laughs> Not in any way. Ah. Man, these things have a high freeze chance. What? 
Oh, my inventory is full. Darn it. That should be enough. More than enough space. So I can finally go back. <clears throat> ah. I can finally go back. I don't know what my voice did there. Here, I have your stuff for you. Oh, there it is. Charge mine support. Perfect. That's one of the items I wanted. No minefields, because it's not available yet. Hmm. Anything else I need? I don't think so. I think I have more or less everything I need already. Okay. Well, I've charged my support now that I can level. That was worth it. Quite possible that that was available to me somewhere else, and I just was not aware of it, but... Eh. I did my best. <laughs> Milk 36 yet? Did that happen? I think so. Yes, I, it did happen. Cool, two Enduring Blasts. Actually, hold on. Let me check these and this. Okay. That. Mm hmm. Mediocre Dodra's tenure. Well, I had to check. Wonder how effective spell crit is compared to additional frenzy charges for our Dodra's tenure. Is it in the list? Okay, there it is. Okay, so... The basic build, the... Plus one max of frenzy charges is 430,000. Is how much is how much I'd lose to remove it. Uh Okay, so is there a spell crit that is enough? Yeah, the spell crit's actually like an acceptable compromise. It can it's worth about half. Even in like the low values, the spell crit will try chance, but worth about half the uh what the frenzy charge one is. That's still pretty good. Is that the fire wand? Yeah, it is. Makes sense. Well, critical strike chance. Ooh. 
We'll see if one of those pops up for Dodo's tenure. I like their guild name. Damn. <laughs> okay, so those are the gloves I'm going to be using. Which doesn't give me enough to actually replace the helmet. I want to get minefield support before I do anything else. I think I need minefield support first. I was doing math in my head, and apparently I'm tired enough that that is all-consuming. Sure, let's blow up whatever this is. Oh. Double influenced. Does that mean you'll give me a corpse? I would like a corpse. I would like your body. Your dead body. That's so much creepier to say it that way. Though saying you would like someone's corpse also isn't exactly, like, the coolest thing. I thought this, I thought said physical monsters are 100% scarier. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sleepy mode. Dreamer sleepy. This is what Ball Spark is for. Killing random, randomly spread out large packs. So we're going to get to the point where we have minefield support, and then I'm going to swap over to Pyroclast. But I don't really see a reason to do it before then. Just because it'll be nicer with minefield support. No, we shall not do that. Wait, this just... Wait, the arena's not against a wall? Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever seen that. Is it against an upper wall? No, it's in the middle. Like, I've seen that before, that's cool. I mean, okay, it's not a big deal, but like... Anything that's new is feels like a big deal to me after playing this game for so long. And so it's basically just that. Ow. Oh, 
Come over here, will you, Vol? Okay, or ignore me. That is another option. I was hoping that you would pick a different option than that, but that is always an option, I guess. Okay, ain't that good? Nah. I should check this one, actually. No, not nearly as good as my other one. Yes, the blues. Not inflict exposure, cannot stun. Joke's on you, I can't do either of those things anyways. Ah, <laughs> uh, you've activated my trap card. You can't use any of these abilities! Ah, uh, you've activated my I have no traps card. Because I don't use those abilities. Actually, I guess I do use traps. Oh, this, this song's named Death Neon. That's cute. Oh, it's by Death9. Is there a name? That's... Okay, I, I like that. That's cute. Oh, you are a small... What are you? Is that? Some, like, very small beetle, I guess. Strange. You need to go away, so I can do things. Full oh, Molten Shell! Yay! Fuckball Absolution! Ball oh, Molten Shell is much better, so I will be leveling that and then selling it. Yay, Power Charge Generation will start soon. Wait, no, I won't, because I'm still not using mines. I never actually price checked my ice bear splitting. I totally forgot to do that. Oh, chrome. Nice. And for an armor scrap, no less. Convenient. I brought back three chromes. Nice. Let me search this thing. One chaos. Okay, yeah, spear splitting it is worth one chaos as well. Darn. Well, I mean, it'll go up in value if I level it. Same with the add lightning damage. So I'm gonna level both of those. Why is all this stuff here? Oh, I just dumped that in there when I was, like, trying to make space for stuff. Well, I can sell all of that. Whatever all that came from. Gives me an extra chrome, too. 37 chromes already. And it's 
10 to a chaos right now, so that's about 4 chaos worth. And that's going to change rapidly. Imagine. Rums will get uh, more valuable as people actually have money to spend on them. And Chrome start going out of the market because people have money to spend on them. I really wish Frosty was an instant skill so that I could use it with uh, the thingy with automation. Or Void Sphere would be really cool too. Or any of the golems. Or tornado. Or ambush. <laughs> really just anything. Hmm. You know, Frost Shield's actually pretty good for me. Because at some point I'm gonna have like 400 energy shields near the end of the build setup stuff. And I can just have this drain all of my energy shield, and then my, as, as soon as I get hit, my ghost shrouds will bring all of it back. That's actually pretty nice. I'm probably gonna... I mean, I could put my the frost shield on cast when stunned, actually. Same with Void Sphere. I, I currently don't have anything on cast when stunned. Except, or sorry, I not anything. I have a phase run on cast when stunned. That's it. If I deautomate detonate mines via well the automation skill. And I pick it as a detonate while moving skill point. There, y'all can watch what I'm doing. So you're not bored. I can move this to weapon slot 2. And then uh, move the buffs down here. Gloops. Um, I don't have anything extra in here, which is why I'm going to put all righteous fire in here. No longer have Balrights Fire there. So now I have two open sockets with Cast and Stunned. I mean, in this case, what I would be wanting would be Frost Shield. Since if I get hit, my Ghost Rods will bring all my Energy Shield back. In one stage, every 0.3 seconds while you're losing energy shield. Well, actually, I'm set to 670 energy shield eventually. What's a level 1 frost shield look like? That's 30 mana. 54 mana. Wow, they frost shields were actually worth a lot. Let's bring it up to about 200 energy shield that it eats. There are 200 a second. So that will get three stages. It has maximum four stages. Uh... Let's do math. 
670 divided by 170. I want to get 4 out of it. I guess the safest way to do that is to just do a level 1. That will give me... That will give me one level. Just out of curiosity, the tiny bit of frost shield that I'm going to have... So if I am in the frost shield... Uh, it will give me an extra 180,000. Plus, it'll actually give me the defense that's involved with it. Okay. I mean, that, that works. And then... I could add a sigil of power. Minimum one second per stage. I'm not going to be. See if I if I get stunned, I'm going to be I'm going to want to move out of that area immediately. So sigil of power is not going to be useful. Uh, you could say the exact same thing about frost shield, but like the frost shield will still help me while I'm in the area. And then I guess I'm going to grab void sphere as well. What's the difference between these two? What's your running last less lasts less time? That's more damage. It has less radius. This is more cooldown reduction. Wait, void sphere of running has no cooldown. Oh. 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 <laughs> really, you say? Void Sphere Rending has no cooldown. Interesting. That does mean I could have more than one Void Sphere, technically. No, you can only have one Void Sphere at a time anyway, so it doesn't matter. You know what? I'm not going to get... Okay, the cooldown reduction is going to bring me down from 8 or 10 seconds to 8 seconds. And I don't think I'm going to get stunned more than once every 8 seconds, realistically, anyways. So, that'll be fine there. Five point four and three eight. Five point four three eight. Okay, so... The levels are just increasing the mana cost and the damage. And I don't need either of those. The only problem is that between all of this, that burns... 60... No, that burns, burns 73 mana. Of my 87. Though, to be fair, if I'm casting phase... Like, with this order, if I cast phase run first, that's the most important thing to get out of, out of there. And then I'm casting Frost Shield, if I have the mana, and then I'm casting... Casting Void Sphere if I have the mana. For reference, for anyone who's not aware, the, the benefit of Void Sphere is that it can pull things towards it, which means that technically it can interrupt things and also, like, keep them away for from you for up to, let's say, a second, which is more than you might imagine. Just by th just by hearing one second, it feels like longer, or it might be longer. The point being is, it's actually a surprisingly good defensive layer. So either I go Void Sphere, and Frost Shield, and Face Run, or I 
I go Phase Run, Frost Shield, Inspiration is the other option. Okay, let's look at this. So, Phase Run, 13, that's not been decreased. 30, okay, so these aren't being decreased by anything. Oh, right, because we're on the basic gear, right? So if you go to the advanced gear, the, I mean, it's decreased by 8 each, which is a lot. Inspiration is more important if you're on advanced gear, or on uh, basic gear. After that point, it's not as valuable. I think, I think that's good to start with. Do we have any open slots still? Oh, if we remove Portal Gem, we do. Okay. Okay, cool. That makes me happy. How low does it go if I'm on the advanced version and I have Inspiration? Two for phase run. And Frost Shield's 14 instead of 30. Just guarantees that they'll both drop always. Do I want to risk running out of mana for Frost Shield? Hmm. No, I don't think I I want to risk that. I think going with Inspiration is probably going to be a better play, even even with the uh, minus our. Reduced mana. The uh, non-channeling skill, non skills have reduced mana cost. Okay. In that case... Okay. What am I doing with myself now? I'm going to move back to Path of Exile. So when, when it finally unlocks, which I think is level 38, I'll be able to get Cast when Stun for Frost Shields, Phase Run. I think I have access to Phase Run already, but I don't have access to... Has been stunned. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hydrosphere, I forgot about that one. Hydrosphere is a really nice thing if you use cold or lightning damage. Something I really like about it. Because it'll you can just apply cold or lightning exposure really quickly with it if uh, you just have it on uh Cast when damage taken or cast when stunned. Oh, there's phase run. Cool. I'll grab you. You can come with me as my pet. I like my viewers. <laughs> Oh, can I teleport right to the Grand Arena, then? Oh, yeah, I can. Who's, who's the party leader? Thank you. That saves time. Home stream. This is either the starting area, and yeah, the starting area. Where are they? They're very far into the area. Is where they are.
not the dream that I want. That must be the other one. That's mine's level one. Someone's in the crystal veins. I do want that. Ooh, Calm Stronghold. That's what it is. Okay, so that is the Stronghold. Actually, that's all the waypoints in the act. Yep, that's all the waypoints in the act. I still need to run and go through uh, the mines, though, to get Deshrock Spirit. That's one of the benefits of playing, like, near the league start, is that you have a lot of people to work with. People sharing waypoints and such. I usually would share waypoints, but I don't really want to do that on stream. Because you don't really have control over what people uh, say while they're in chat or what they name themselves. And that is enough to get you demonetized on YouTube, just like someone saying something. Wait, no. There we go. Boom. Everything explodes. No, I'm not going to the mine camera right now. I'll visit it later. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I'll delve or not. I don't usually delve. I just don't really find the gameplay loop incredibly interesting to me. This person just popped up again after having listed this before for 1C. I think they're a price fixer. Yeah, because this is the fourth time me messaging them now, and they still haven't responded, which makes me feel like they probably don't actually want to sell it. I think that they very obviously still have it, but they are also still listing it. Okay. Player ignored. The pain having to constantly ignore the price fixers so that you can accurately see data on the trade site, but it's kind of just the uh, system we're in right now. Unfortunately, if we had an auction house and we just had the ability to, if you post something, you can just go buy it whenever you want, even with the person's offline, then trade, like, that would immediately solve price fixing, because it's impossible to price fix in that case. Because your item will just get sold if you put it up to, to sell for too low. Like, nothing is going to prevent it from being sold, besides not listing it. 
if you list it too low, it'll just sell too low. Go away. Bad Rogue Exile. Yeah, you could fix both price fixing and people botting to sell currency or just sell things in general by making an auction house. Both problems would be indefinitely fixed immediately. Though they have said that they understand now that modern games can't live without an auction house. So that at least there will be one in PoE 2, but... I mean... That's... I don't know, I still don't think it's acceptable, because... Why not put it in this game, too? Like, why... Let me phrase that. Why is the English version not allowed to have it, but the Chinese version is? And the console version is? I still don't see a reason why... Why PC isn't allowed to have the same stuff as console. Because they have an auction house that's fully functioning. Oops, wrong button. People at Niantic are strange. Wait, Niantic? <laughs> Well, they are strange, but the people at GGD are strange to me. I don't really know why they do things the way they do them. I don't... I don't really accept the, uh... But it's our design philosophy. No, you're making your players suffer. Stop making your players suffer. Yeah, you didn't originally want to have an auction house. I get it. Hi, C4. How's your league going? Can I refresh this again? No, I can't. Nice. You gonna be streaming today? Okay, cool. I don't know if I have any viewers right now, but if I do, I will raid your uh, channel if you're online. I mean, I don't forget. Try not to forget, though. That's totally fair. I tend to, like do defenses first a lot of the time these days, so... I tend to get tankier quicker, but not do enough damage. That's fair. I've been up for three and a half hours. Like, online for three and a half hours, so I don't know... I don't know how much longer I'll play for. I don't, like, immediately feel like I want to call it or anything, but... I don't know. Don't think I'll play for more than another hour and a half at most. So if you're online by then, then I will raid you. Right, no worky. Yay, lightning modifier stuff. 
haven't actually just done any Necropolis stuff since the first thing I crafted. Maybe I should go craft something. My weapon isn't really amazing, but I am going to be able to replace it soon, so there's that. Yeah, I don't really know how the system works, to be honest. Otherwise, I would give advice. I mean, the only craft that I've done... Wait, what do you mean when you say they're terrible? Do you mean, like, the modifiers that you're getting aren't useful? Or they're, like, all really low tier? It's possible that the tier that you get the corpse at, or the level you get the corpse at, like, heavily restricts the tier of, uh modifiers you can get, which would explain if you're only getting terrible crafts. Hmm. That's fair. Well, I know basically nothing about it so far. Ow. Um... Hmm. Okay. That's not nice. We have an invulnerability aura rare on top of a rare that makes lightning totems and is hasted on top of a pack of extra crit magic mobs and a bunch of other mobs. That is really bad. Uh, no, not that set. That's not cool. Yeah, come over here, away from the vulnerability. Will you? Okay, let's clear what I can. Over here. Okay, those are cleared. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I've only done one craft so far, and I got fairly lucky with it. Like, it was really weak, but also I didn't have an amulet at the time. So... It was really nice. Okay, you have the invulnerability aura one. I have to take you out first. And separate you from the other one. Okay, you're down. Get the stupid totem one. There you are. Come here, butt face. You're not my friend. Okay. You put a bunch of socket crafts on a belt! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I guess we have learned what the problem is. Uh. Oh well. It happens. I mean, the good thing is, like, you're just wasting, like, you're just wasting corpses you found in the campaign. So, like, you'll get much better corpses later, and they'll all be worth way more. So. Might as well fuck up with the, uh, the basic shit that doesn't matter.
Speaking of which, I should go to the Necropolis and actually try to craft something because of that. I don't know if there's a point. I don't know what I should craft, though. I guess I should look at the modifiers before I decide what I want to craft. Wait, this is where I just came from. Was there not a way out of this, or am I confused? Not a way out of this. As soon as I'm done here, I'll, I'm gonna go to the Necropolis and see if uh, I have anything interesting to make. Okay, those are the dangerous ones. Now for the melee guy. Okay, Duresso time. Ow. No, nope, not that. Okay, gonna go... No, nope. not phased yet? You must be phased, there you go. No, thank you. And phase. Should we take those phase times to actually curse him? That would be a good idea. Yes, work into my mind layer. I need to just go back to town. That is what I need. It's what I need. Nope. First one. I don't need that yet. I got that. I honestly do not even remember a saboteur rework. I take it that it's been a while since then. Or I didn't pay attention, one of the two. <laughs> Mm. Was that when they added the trigger bots, which I still don't understand? Okay, yeah. We were on the same wavelength. Of what weird thing did they add at that time? <laughs> mm. 
Mm. No minefield yet, right? Yeah, I have to take out Helm first. That's fair. I mean, I wouldn't make a mind build with any other other ascendancy besides saboteur. And I'm kind of okay with it just being, being mines and traps, personally. Because, like, Pyromaniac continues to be one of the best defensive layers, in my opinion, that you can just have from an Ascendancy. And, I mean, Born Shatters is amazing, too. Like, I feel like it's really balanced. Really? I mean, I don't... I, I just don't want to give up Pyromaniac. It's just too good in my in my brain. In my brain hole. Oh, my brain's supposed to be. And in fact currently is. That's fair. I don't know, this... I think I'm going to be able to break the 20 million DPS mark with uh, this on Saboteur, so I'm, o I'm okay with this damage. I mean, the Uber version of the belt is already sitting at 15.5 million unbuffed, so... I, th I, th I think I'm happy with it. Ah, uh, now for all the fire resistant things to fight me. This is gonna be interesting. I respect that you missed the old stuff though. I, I would like to learn at some point what the trigger bots do. I just have never investigated it. Like I've always been like, huh, I wonder what that does, and then I just forget about it. <laughs> Uh Weird. I cannot imagine can't imagine playing it on a different ascendancy besides Saboteur. Oh. So, like, cast one damage taken, let's say you cast one damage taken an Ice Nova, it you'll get three Ice Novas, basically. Oh, one from the- okay, there's- oh, it triggers from the trigger bots instead of you. Is that what you're saying? Uh -uh. Weird. I wonder what would happen if you cast one stunned steel skin. Would the trigger bots get steel skin? <laughs> Wait, could you give the trigger bots molten shell? Oh. Aww. 
<laughs> That's just like me trying to do molten shell mines. <laughs> And these things are tanky. Mainly because I'm getting packs of rares together is the problem. Man. I like I like making those really weird things. I still want to do a build where like I make it so that any and all damage can stun me, and then do self-damage. But also be a Juggernaut, so I have uh, Unstoppable. And then use Cast, uh, cast When Stunned to power it, because Cast When Stunned doesn't have a uh, multiplier for mana. I've seen builds like that before. Yep. Though it might have been an on block that they were doing, and I can't remember. Wait, does Dragonaut get can't be stunned? I'm specifically thinking about the action speed cannot be lowered below base. Oh, that is not the right button. Damn, now I have to use the... use fire against the fire boss. Actually, wait, I... His he doesn't have extra fire resistance, does he? It's like looking at his his icons. Dang. Also, I gotta say, uh, action speed can't be lowered below base is actually like super powerful. So I would not be surprised if it affects Sun too. I should check. First, dealing with this fool. It has, it has, like, actions... Oh! Oh, because your action speed can't be lowered below, like, 108% or something? Let's check this one. Uh... Eh. I guess I'll hold on to that still. You know, I never considered the fact that Trickster does that. Like, I've never considered it like that. 
Interesting. Okay, let's look over here. Hi, Pyro. Let's see. Ah! Light mode! Fucking light mode! Hmm. What's Arcane Wake? Oh. Huh. I'm not familiar with these. What are these added? A very fucking long time ago. Really? Huh. Strange. Anyways, that's what I'm looking for. Unstoppable. Just where did this come from? <laughs> it sometimes does feel like that, doesn't it? It pro it must have like some really prohibitive drop. It's drop disabled. That's why I I've never seen it. That explains it. Oh, it was when they disabled a bunch of uniques that were, like, ill-performing. And this one was ill-performing because apparently there was a bug in it. Okay, that's fair. Anyways. Cannot be stunned, okay. So it does have cannot be stunned as a separate modifier. Hmm. Okay, so what I, I didn't realize that unstoppable was action speed and movement speed cannot be modified below base, base value. That's interesting. Yeah. Mm. What? Does the Scion have a Juggernaut? Oh, can't be chilled, can't be stunned, okay. Hmm. I don't remember the build that I saw.
get to, but... Path of Exile, cast one stunned. Cast one stunned auto bomber. Cast one done st yeah. Cast one stunned spam spell yeah. Spell spam proof of concept. Okay, so... When did they do that? Because this is someone doing proof of concept three months ago. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh shit, I almost- I- I totally forgot to pick up the eye. But my instance would have closed on me there. I'm happy that I remembered to come back in. I'm happy that I came back in and remembered, I should say. Oh! Oh! Oh. Shit. That's not good! Uh, I know exactly what you're talking about now, because I remember seeing that in the patch notes. Hmm. Hmm. No! Why do things have to spawn meteors on death? No, that's really bad. Not a fan. Mutable Blood Notch combo. I'm not familiar with what that is. I'm not familiar with either of those things are, actually. Wait, where am I? No. Okay, this is super important. This reward, I think. Yep. Minefield. Yay! I can play Pyroclast Mines now. I would recoup six, uh, nine hundred percent reduced duration of stun, and you would recoup sixty percent of stunning hits damage. Ooh. Cool. Sounds sexy. Charge mine support. Trap and mine damage. Pyroclast. Oh no. I don't have a dex for anything. 
Well, that's not good. Yeah, I can see how that would be good and useful. Okay, how can I get some more decks? How can I get some more decks? I am changing my gloves, but I don't think that's going to help. No, it's not going to help. And I want to change my helmet, but that's going to make the problem even worse. I guess I do have the basic dex amulet I can use. I don't actually need to have spark at all. I'll move Grace over. Move Skitterbots there and Clarity here. If you use Petrified Blood, you are nearly invincible to small hits. Hmm. Two thousand HP is so low. Yeah, that that would be strange to be able to survive easily with that. Oh, actually, Grace, summon Skitterbots. Le haste. <laughs> oh shit. Haste. Uh hmm. Time to make a dex deck at the amulet. Dex dex. It's like a dick dick, but not in the slightest. I'm sure, everyone is aware of the illustrious dick dicks. Their glory cannot be matched. Yes, I want to do a necrocraft. Thank you. Okay, let me unfuck whatever I do, I've done to my or pass or hot bar. Yeah, have the detonate mines trigger while you're moving thing right now. Oh, I guess I do have a molten shell, technically. Oh, I guess I can use that. Pyroclast. That is exactly like it was before. If anything, that's more responsive than before. I like that. That over there. Keep working on it. That. Anything else I need to fix? That's everything. Okay, no, we're not listening to this. Okay. Necrocrafting! Okay, so what... What do? Corpse level. Do you have anything to say about corpse levels? 
Braille patterns. Choose your plot plots carefully. That doesn't explain anything. Fair. What do I actually even need? I guess I could use a better belt. How likely would it be that I could create a dex amulet? Not looking like it. <laughs> hmm. Uh, hmm. Okay. Physical mods are scarcer. I'm going to try to make a belt. Physical mods are scarcer. Add some lightning mods. That's not going to help. I want there to be life mods, and I guess... No, well, let's just try that for now. I want physical mods to be scarcer, seeing as it. My brain stalled. Never mind. <laughs> I want it to be it to be scarcer because I don't want it to have reflect on it. Okay, so we're going to make a belt. That is a bad belt. <laughs> what happened to the lightning modifiers? Oh, I didn't add a lightning modifier. I added a modifier bonus to lightning modifiers if I get them. Okay. Okay, the highest corpse's level was 38. And I have an item level 38 belt now. I wonder if that's how that works. Okay, I'm trying to make, I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try to make a dex chest plate. Try that. That quality, I guess, decrease fire mods, I don't know. Yes, you absolutely should. Okay, so if this takes the item, if the or item level is the highest corpse level, then it will be item level 30. Uh, if it doesn't, and it, let's say, averages the item levels, 30 plus 30 plus, or I averages the corpse levels to get I the item level, 17 plus... 22, 99 divided by 4, 24.75. So if it's by the highest corpse level, it will be item level 30. If it's by averaging the corpse levels, it will be item level 25 or 24. Uh, did it, and it also had a bunch of increased socket mods, too? <laughs> or is this a different one? Okay, well, I got a two link. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, that didn't turn out well. It's item level 30, though, so it uses the highest corpse level. 
for your item level is what it looks like. But uh, yeah, that's bad. That is a thoroughly bad. Uh, that is a thoroughly bad piece of gear. You know what? Just out of curiosity. Life mods are scarcer. What could I possibly want that on? Um, you know what? I don't want life mods on a scepter, so I'm going to make a scepter. Level 12 scepter. <laughs> well, that's about as ass as I expected. Not bad for item level 12 the scepter, but it's still an item level 12 scepter, so it wasn't really going to be that good anyways. Unless I rolled really lucky. Oh well. Eh, it's been fun testing things, even if it doesn't didn't really work out. Uh, you know what? We're going to take a few minute intermission just so I can get up and stretch. And then we'll figure out what we're going to do next and if we're going to continue the stream or not. Because we've been going over four hours now. Oh. Oh. I'd like to get some lunch, actually. You know what? Yeah, actually, we should call the stream. That would probably be for the best, as much as... Oh, we should go test... Okay, we'll go, we'll go test out our, um, our pyroplast mines first. Just because I want to get the feel of what it actually looks like. Nope, not in there. Darn it. Oh, whatever. How does power class feel? I don't like the fact that it's locking me in place because my mind throwing speed's so low, but... It's still powerful. Nothing else. Fence mods are scarcer. Yay. Uh, yeah. Totally. I'll stay on for a couple more minutes. So. We're just gonna test this out, and then we'll call it. Hey, hit 40! Nice! That is actually a great way to end things off. I'm gonna decide if I want to get to the next area. Because I still... How many levels of Belly of the Beast do I have to go through? Okay, thanks. Read you soon. Thank you, Pyro. Good to know. Sure. 
go with whatever that was. Not something got evasion modifiers, but that doesn't really matter too much. Because you can't evade spells, only dodge them. Or suppress them. Oh, Pyroclast is as powerful as I remember. Can't wait till I actually have mine throwing speed and can use it at a more reasonable rate. Perfect time. Dying right after possessing something. Perfect timing. Oh! Oh, that's a special thing. Special monster with special corpse. They'll be special when they're dead. Such a weird thought concept. Cool. We can beat Piety, grab the waypoint. And then we're good. I should actually look into when I get the power class Minds of Sabotage, because they are dramatically more powerful than the, the basic power class Minds, at least for what I'm doing. Zoom. Yay! You made it nearly to the end of Act 4. Basically to the end. So we did Act 3 and 4 today today so far. That's pretty good. Might play more later. We'll see. Uh, though the stream is ending, though, because I want to actually have some food. <laughs> okay. So, if you've enjoyed watching this, you can watch other VODs on at Black Cat Streams. You can see our highlights at Black Hat Studio, on both on YouTube. And if you want to see more live streams like this, please follow the channel, and you will get to see lots more. Thank you all so much for watching. For everyone who's here and has been here, I appreciate you very much. Thank you so much. Now, we are going to go and raid C14. Head to the channel. What should we say? Um, hmm. When you get there, just say hi from like hi from cat, or just say hi or something. I'm trying to think of what else you could say. You know what? No. When you get there, say iguana. Because I'm weird like that. Is this slash raid. Never done this before. Nope. Not that button. Do do. Uh huh. Uh huh.
Okay, thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.